Hello, honey folks! Welcome back to Battle Brothers! It's been a while since I played, but last episode was a doozy. That is for sure. Looks like we're blasting through the rest of our tools here. I think I'm gonna head north. We'll touch base in Mordorf and then maybe even head up uh, looking for trouble up in the snows and stuff like that. Maybe a change of climate. I'm really hoping to fight some bandits sooner or later. I want to get more hedge knights. It's it's becoming a pressing concern that we're almost to day 200 and only oop, looks like we lost some bread. Day 200 and we haven't found we only have a single piece of real full plate. So I know I've said it a lot, but it is a big concern, especially with the rising tide of the orcish hordes coming around the corner. What could we do here? Actually, these are all pretty good prices. Let's get some mushrooms, some grains, and some meat. That's nice. Eh, the peat, maybe not so much. I don't think this is a great place to sell, no. Looks like our visit's gonna be short and sweet. Let's head north. Yes, there's also been a lot of comments lately, which is awesome. Some people having some pretty good tips, and I'm hoping to incorporate them as we go here. Ooh, battle site, huh? Why don't we go into the forest here looking for trouble really quick? Sometimes there's like bandit hideouts in the forests. Maybe. No, doesn't doesn't look like it. Let's head on into Tangweer. I think we'll get up, probably pick up some armored dogs just while we're up here. We don't need the unarmored ones so much anymore. I think the armored ones will probably have a little bit better chances to survive as we proceed. Ah, oh, damn it. It's too much for a wildman. Just too much. Marketplace, more meat. Let's get some berries. Sell prices are pretty bad, but the kennel, 312 for some doggies. Should we do it? We lost Duke's dog. That's right. We have one, two unarmored dogs. Maybe we ought to switch in. Let's just pick up, we'll, we'll pick up two. And Joss can get a new doggy. And all right, so we've got, we've got some extra dogs there that We'll, we'll end up using them eventually, I'm sure. Okay, let's move on. Maybe we'll take a job while we're up here too. In fact, let's just turn right around. I saw a job here. What do we got? Greenskins west of Mordorf. That's down south. No, I don't think I want to do that because after we go south, I don't want to have to go back north. That's the thing with that. It's going into Torvaholm. I don't think we're gonna make it by nightfall, which is a big shame. Yeah. Do they have a tavern? No tavern, but they do have a job. Green skins, okay. This is Mordorf again. Nope. I think we're just gonna go to Torvaholm on our way back. Why don't we swing into the mountains here and see if maybe we can spot something in the area in the morning? That'd be nice. Nope. Okay, the green skin thing is here. That's for sure. They're gonna be everywhere soon. Couple of battle sites. A few brigand leaders. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Could get some armor and weapons, perhaps. Something, anything to be better than what we're wearing. Let's gear it up. Okay, we don't need Hacken. I kind of want to get Harold in. I want Gaudron. We want, we need Ingolf. Let's take out Kettlemond and... Maybe we'll sit Jost out on this one. Let's close ranks a bit. 
Let's get Ingolf. Let's get... Let's see, it said there was some... Um, actually, we should have pretty decent range defense with our dodge skill. Let's get everyone more more central here. Yeah, that'll work. Looks like Gout or Harold needs a little something. Bill Hook, perhaps. Let's just give him a dog for now. And I think I kind of want Rainer as well. Well, no, we've got... We've got plenty of space here. Maybe Karsten is a good pick on this one. Let's give him back his bill hook. You never know when uh, we just need that clutch Karsten action. We have another Rondell dagger. Let's see, Thilman. I think it'll, yeah, Duke, Duke deserves a Rondell Dagger for sure. Fritzy, why don't we give you a, a long axe? Who, oh, okay, we're missing a good amount of long axes here, aren't we? Galdron's gonna be using one. Why don't we give him the pike instead? And then we could give Ingolf back his long axe. Magnus has his. Fritzy's got one. Ingolf. Okay. Let's switch over a little bit more like that. That seems good. Hard to turn this formation down. I think we're ready for action here. A few leaders. How many nets do we have? Karsten's got a net. Magnus has a net. Why don't we give Ingolf a net? His throwing thing has just been a massive waste, so I don't really care about... Yeah, Ingolf was just, you know, a mistake. Sorry, Ingolf. I hate to say it. We'll repair that while we're at it. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of nets in case uh, some of these raiders give us trouble. Why don't we head on in? A few leaders. Okay. Well, it's not a hedge knight, but I'll take it. There's always cool stuff to be found, I think. A lot of people missing their helmets. Perhaps they didn't get the memo of who they're up against over here. Fritzy? It might be worth it to take a step forward with everyone, so let's just wait. That way we can bombard their back line with, uh, quick shots. 25? Oh, perhaps I need to take this a little more seriously than I thought. Okay, let's think about this seriously. I should have threw the bird out with Ingolf to see what we're dealing with exactly, but I did not. Okay, so taking this high ground seems like something we'll want to do with Ike, probably. One, two, three, four, five. So if we get Thilman here, Thelman, Duke, Aid Blade, Egil, Leonard, and Ike. That leaves this flank pretty exposed with Galdron. Maybe we'll just shift everyone up so that Ike is here, like, really covering it. Let's just move Galdron here and see what we see some raiders and stuff we'll go there for now we could still we still have one more action left 
Let's get up here with Karsten. What do we see? Just more raiders. Okay. Got a good amount of spots up there. So let's move Harold up. Magnus. Ooh, man. It's a lot of hooked uh, blades. I can't say I'm a fan of that. Let's just go after one. <clears throat> oh, ouch. Okay. Ike. With that high ground, you could probably fight most of those guys. We'll see how that goes for you. We'll get Aid Blade up here. Eagle can get up there. It's a good spot for Duke. It's tempting to get Leonard down here. Uh, I don't know who's going to cover that spot, but maybe it's just not a big deal. Yeah, let's get a little bit more help down here, just in case. And Thilman. Let's go here for now. Alright. Yeah, their crossbows are going to be pretty annoying, but they're the light versions. Just do some return fire and why don't we get Fritzy up here so at least he has a better chance to do some damage. Yeah, those dodge stats are pretty great. And up top, he should be able to skirmish pretty well with the enemy and he really needs the range bonus because he doesn't have the bow mastery yet. And let's get Ingolf over here. We've got a Warhammer. And a winged mace. Yeah, I'm happy about the Warhammer. We could use another one of those. Let's throw the bird out just, just because that was all we could do anyway. It's just a lot of rabble, but when they when they come at us, it's not gonna feel like a bunch of rabble, I don't think. It's a lot of shield walling, isn't it? All right, Galdrin's actually in a decent spot now. And so's Karsten. I think we'll get Harold over here. He doesn't have footwork, so I'd rather him be in a safer spot than that. Magnus can like draw someone in and then step back. But hiding behind the bush is pretty great. In fact, hiding behind bushes could work for Ike as well. And definitely deny them the high ground. Sure, let's do that. If they all jump on Ike, we'll we'll shift upwards to um to meet them. But I think Ike will be all right. Okay, here comes a lot of these little short bows. We could probably get Leonard up on the high ground too. We'll have to see how it goes. Boy, they're really uh, hitting Duke with the ranged weaponry. Oh, all right. I see what's going on here. Fritzy, none of those guys have helmets. Whoa, ho, ho. Looks like Fritzy's taking a good couple lessons from Ingolf. Ingolf, yep, we got a couple more helmetless guys over there. There goes another. That, was that the guy with the crossbow? It sure was. Another one? The, the crossbow bow situation down there, I think Magnus is probably going to have to handle that. Let's wait with Galdron. I think I might want to step up again with with Duke and the gang to be a little bit closer. I guess we'll we'll see. Things are gonna get pretty crazy, I think. Let's reload with Magnus.
He's in a good spot behind the bush. It would be nice if we could get closer, though, so we could shoot at some of the guys in the back. I think let's just go for a kill here. Nice. Oh. We've already got some routers, don't we? Ingolf's already done. But he's going to be fine skirmishing. I'm tempted to move in. This guy is going to get a, uh, a free shot at aid blade with that hooked blade. I can't say I like that. Let's just wait. We still have one more action. Why don't we get Leonard up on the high ground? Yep, we're just gonna wait with everyone here. I'm tempted to move in with Thilman, though. Or at least take another step. Yeah, let's, let's start sneaking our way up there with Thilman. He's kind of moving around the bushes. He thinks he's clever. Maybe Thilman is a bit clever. I don't know. We'll see. All these shield walls are going up. We could really use another couple of heater shields as well, I think. I'm tempted to move Galdron here. Try and bait them in. If someone jumps on Galdron, we can just step down and rotate with Eagle. Looks like they're not going to take that bait. Let's get Karsten up behind the bushes. And I think we're going to take... We're going to take a step forward with everyone. Yep, we're moving in, slowly. What do they think about that? Looks like they're just gonna shoot some stuff at us. Oh, Leonard takes a little bit of a bolt there. He's all right. Ah, okay, he missed a blade. Fritzy, 43% chance. Oh! Yeah. Ingolf's been showing Fritzy, uh, you know, a couple of tips while on the march. Let's go after this guy. Where's that? Three kills with Fritzy so far? Maybe two? Ingolf and Fritzy are definitely leaving um, a wake of corpses, that's for sure. Hmm. It's tempting to move up here so we can start shooting some arrows in there. Let's do that. Perfect. Oh! Ow! That really got him. We need more warbos. Uh-huh. They're running out of their garbage. Let's wait with Karsten. Pretty tempted to just charge them. Get nice and bloody. I think so. Let's step up with Gaudron and see if we can nail that guy in the face. Oh, damn it. Ike, let's wait with you. I'm hoping they'll move up on him instead. Harold, let's wait with you. Magnus, how about we reload? Let's reload and then start moving in. Aid Blade! I think it's time to step up. And Eidrel, let's step up with you. Keep Galdron safe there. And these guys should be coming at us pretty soon, so let's keep our high ground. Duke? No. No luck from Duke. Let's move in with Thilman. Nope. 
That guy's out of here. That's fine. Ooh. He's going at Eagle there with his two-handed axe. Even the woodcutter's axe can, you know, can hurt you. That's for sure. Let's step in with Karstein. Oh, got him. We'll just continue waiting. Let's step in with Harold. Go after this guy? Sure. Hey, boy, can you rub it in? No, you got him in the head. Let's see if we can... No, all right. Do these guys move in yet? It's like they're moving around a lot. Oh yeah, they're hiding behind the bushes now. That's a shame. Fritzy, can you get anyone from here? Looks like it. No luck. Oh yeah, we have an issue here. Galdron. Good damage. And Ingolf. I guess we'll go after that guy with the crossbow. Ooh, ouch, headshot. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the, what those guys are trying to pull over there. Let's go... let's go after these guys with Ike. Karsten? Nope. And Leonard, we gotta lock these guys down, so let's step down and try and get a kill. Nope. Magnus. Let's go after that guy. Or, better yet, let's get up here and then go after that guy. <laughs> We got, we got a hit there. That's fine. Harold? Nope. Aid Blade, though. Ow. Eagle? We gotta kill this guy. Oh well. Let's blast through with Duke. Nice. Thilman, how about a Shatter? No such luck. Why are we... Oh, there... He's... Okay. And I think that's it with this turn. Not too many kills, but I think I think next turn we're going to be seeing some good progress here. Hmm. Shield checks Leonard. That means we're going to try and move in on Magnus, I think. Oh, this Warhammer's in on us now. I can't say I like that at all. There goes Eagle's shield. We're going to need a new one. All right, Fritzy. None of these guys have shields. Let's toss some arrows in there. Got him. Ingolf. I think we'll do the same. There goes one. How about over there? Yep. <laughs> All right. Galdron, put that man down. We're making corpses. That's our business. Oh, Duke gets stunned. I don't like that. Ike, can we blast through? Kill. Oh, man. That was messy, wasn't it? Harold, oh, I kind of want that helmet, but I kind of want to kill that guy as fast as possible. Eagle, let's move in and apply some damage. Yeah, let's, let's go after him. And with Magnus here... Let's reload and shoot someone. 
Like him? Yeah, he's dead, and that means Leonard can move in to protect Magnus. Thelman, another shatter, perhaps? Well, we hurt one guy, and he's gonna get out of here, which means he's doomed. Galdron, let's step in with you. That's it for this turn, huh? Okay. We're doing all right. Galdron's gonna be fine. I don't want to see what this hammer's gonna do to one of us here in a second. He misses. That's good. They keep checking Leonard out of the way. That's so strange. Karsten, please, can you just... Nice. Make room for Thelman there. And Fritzy. Any good aimed long-range shots? Oh, there we go. Let's try that. Oh, got him. Galdron. 50, 35, let's go for that 77, that hurts. And Ingolf. Ingolf, if you go here, it's a straight shot. Headshot! <laughs> of course it's a headshot. That guy's dead. Let's move in. Boy, Eagles. He means business. You destroy his shield and he just goes on a furious rampage. Can't quite get that guy. Let's reload with Magnus. 65%. Nailed him. Harold. 30, 32. Let's just kill him. Oh, that was pretty brutal. Ike. Let's just swing. Yep. Let's swing and get moving. Duke's taking more damage than I'd like, but let me let's see if we can kind of mitigate that. No, no hits from Duke. No hits. I'm suddenly not very in favor of what's going on with him. Let's get Leonard back in and kill this guy. No, we didn't kill him. I thought for sure that was going to kill him. Oh well. Thelman! Let's come in behind these guys! Galdron, you're fine. Just stay there. They're really going to go after Duke here. Okay, he moved in on Galdron. I suppose I'm not too surprised with that. Duke's uh, being quite a pain to, to put down, it looks like. Yeah, let's just get Karsten this way. Is this guy gone? Yeah, let's step in with Karsten so we're in max range of everyone next turn. Galdron... 58%, 54. Let's go for the 54. Got him in the helmet. Not, not very excited about that. All right, Fritzy, let's get out your long X. Move down to help. Eagle. There we go. That man's broken. I'm happy. Very happy with that. Ingolf, let's get your axe out as well. Break that shield. I'm tired of that shield wall spam. That means Harold should have a pretty good shot here. Yes. And Aid Blade can probably finish him off. Well, a good couple of wounds will help. Let's move around here with Ike. And Magnus, I think it's time to get your long axe out as well. Step down and break that shield. So Leonard can put his shield away. Go to town on him. Holy cow. Duke, let's go for a swing on these three. 
Yep. Thelman. Let's move in on Yalmar there. That man's down. This battle is almost over. Gonna get a couple of fancy weapons, I think. Eagle. Fritzy. There we go, another kill for Fritzy. Karsten. Galdron is ready for a kill, I think. That'll do. That will do. I was hoping this guy wouldn't hit Leonard, but I was wrong. Aid Blade! Yeah, let's get moving around the side with you. And Harold. Oh! Headshot. That hurts. Ike! Doesn't quite finish him off, though. Let's move in with Ingolf. Leonard! Two kills. Just like that. Let's rest with Magnus, I suppose. Duke, let's rest with you. Thelman? No. Yeah, that guy is definitely dead. Is he gonna hurt someone? Nope, he tries though. Let's just wait. Galdron? No luck. Let's get in here with Egil and get Galdron out of there. Oh! Wow, stabbed him right in the face. That looked like the uh, nine lives just went off. He's one brave, brave lad. But there he goes. He's dead. Harold gains a level. We got the winged mace. But we didn't get the warhammer. I think. Yeah, we didn't get the warhammer. What a bummer. That was what I really wanted. But, we got some stuff. What can we offload? Let's get rid of these wooden shields. What else can we get rid of? Some of these wooden shields, probably. That'll work. <coughs> oh. Excuse me, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? Hey, 52 tools, that's not the worst. Harold? Plus three, plus three. Plus three. We're moving up a little bit. Let's pick up Brawny, he needs Brawny. Oh man. Yeah, that fatigue is devastating. He's gonna need like, he's gonna definitely need like a mastery to, to deal with that fatigue, but he's gonna be great regardless. He'll just need a little bit more um, uh, fatigue, fatigue stuff. Let's get moving on to Wolf Hayden, I think. There's more time in this episode. Aha, ruins, huh? Okay, that might be worth Worth a little bit of a dive. What's in Wolf Hayden, though? Ambush trade routes. Hmm. That could be nice. Is it nice? I think it's nice enough just because we have a full inventory. Let's offload just kind of most of our garbage here. Does this mail quaff, do we need it for anyone? No. We can get rid of it. It's not the full uh, one anyway. All right, let's organize this first. Let's get rid of these axes. We don't need all these little garbagey items. We should repair that war brand. We'll sell like kind of the, just the low quality stuff. That should be repaired. Yeah, a lot of these items are going to sell for quite a bit, I think.
That makes more room. Let's get rid of some of these pikes. That X. That seems all right. That seems all right for now. Uh, do we really want these war sides, though? I don't. We have one, and I don't think we need more than one. Not until. Ooh, let's see. Let's get another uh, shield on Egil there. Let's put one on Hacken, and then we'll just probably sell sell the rest. Who's missing a long axe? Rainer is. There we go. Okay, let's just sell the other one. It's taking up space. Let's sell the uh, hooked blades too. I think the rest of this stuff I kind of repair want to repair up because it's going to be worth quite a bit of money. Let's go to the weaponsmith. Fighting spear. Well, with the ambush trade routes, I'm not sure I want to buy anything. So let's just move on. We got a mission. Vagabonds. No, that's not that's not enough. Let's move on. Moon time, perhaps. Who knows what's out in the forests there? Okay, since we have the tools, let's repair some choice items. These are very easy to repair and they're going to sell for quite a bit. The arming sword, the mace, the war scythe. Eh, that's it. That's fine. Yeah, it's not going to cost too many tools and it's going to bring us some good... Ooh, we've got some ambush trade routes here as well and a contract. Green skins. Northeast of Firthwalked. Where's Firthwalked? Is it like forever far away? I think it is. The way the noble houses are laid out, like the the fact that the sun owns... No, we have to go all the way down to Firthwalked and then all the way up to Undheim. That's just a nightmare. So we're not going to do that. I think we're going to wait for morning though. We're just going to repair our stuff. I really want to see... What kind of sell prices we get here in Undheim with the ambush trade routes. Wildman for 400. Let's take it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I really, really want to keep this guy, I think, with that melee skill. That's going to be 90s for sure. We'll have to see how he develops. But that starting fatigue is insanely awesome. We could, we, this could be the Karsten 2.0 that we were looking for. I mean, the stars are in the same places. And... Karsten... Not built the best. Definitely not built the best. So, retiring Karsten out and getting Baldemar up to, um... Up to snuff, that could be a pretty big deal. That could be a pretty big deal, actually. Let's just throw some armor on him. Do we have another pole arm? Let's just give him this for now. 67 fatigue. That's some pretty heavy duty armor. Maybe just give him... That's a lot of fatigue. I think we'll go with that for now. 
looks pretty decent. And we'll see how he develops. Maybe he could be a two-hander if he gets lots of melee defense, but I'm thinking he's going to be Karstein uh, the way we actually wanted him with his, like, quick hands. Definitely the quick hands is what I messed up really bad, so... Okay. Sure. Welcome aboard, Baldemar. If anyone wants him, just make sure to leave a comment, and I will rename him as soon as I can. Nothing good there. Let's check our sell prices in the market. Where's our flail? 203. No, I don't think so, but these tools are good enough. What about this contract? Cells or brigands? No. Alright. I think we're just gonna head south. Why don't we go up to the mountains over here and see if we can spot something this way. We have enough food for for a bit of a detour. We're still doing some repairs. We'll just head straight into the mountains here, midday. Nothing, nothing. Let's head down here to these mountains. There's gotta be something out here. Please bandits, please hedge knights. Another skeletal spot. Let's go, let's get a little closer and check it out. A plethora of ancient auxiliaries and many necro savants. We've done this before. Maybe it's time to do it again. Let's take a look at what we got here. We certainly do not want our squishy stuff. We have room for loot. And since we're here, I kind of want to do it. Let's get a banner in. I think we want Jost. We probably want Kettlemond. I don't think we want new guy <laughs> so early. If they're auxiliaries, we probably don't need the long axes. We could probably just chop them up in melee. suppose it doesn't really matter there. I don't think we want a, um, a pike. Well, you know, we'll use the pike against the Necro Savants. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're already prepared for this one. Let's wait until morning, and then we'll get in there. I don't know why we're waiting for morning. I, I would just assume that the vampires might be stronger at night. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Flat ground. But we do have a couple of nicely placed bushes, don't we? I like, I like the placement of the bushes. That could come in exceptionally handy. Let's let's get our backs to them so that it's much easier to plug the gaps. We might be able to get a full surround on all our pole arms on this one. Yeah, these auxiliaries are gonna they're gonna get chopped up pretty quick, I think. Let's get Karsten back here. Egil, why don't you plug one of these gaps? Let's get Duke right here. I'll put Leonard there. Boy, those vampires are making lots of noises back there, aren't they? 
Yeah, this one, um, unless something critical goes wrong, I think we were just kind of handed a victory, perhaps. Let's get Aid Blade here. Kettleman here. Oh, we're going to need to pull Duke back slightly. Let's get Thelman here. Yeah, Duke's going to go right there, and then, and then we're totally closed in in the best way possible. I would not be happy if I was these Necro Savants. Oh, I forgot to move Duke, didn't I? That's fine. He, he didn't have enough action points to get here anyway, so we'll wait for next turn on that. That is a lot of vampires, though. Take a sip of uh, coffee while we wait. Aid Blade and Leonard, everyone's ready. The final piece of the puzzle, Duke. Get right in there. Beautiful. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Nope, looks like they're going to hold off one more round. Galdron. Start start doing some damage there. Karsten. Yeah, no problem. Ike, why don't we strike through? Yep. Here they come. Where are they gonna go? All right, Thelman gets some a little bit of company there. Jost gets some company. Ooh, these guys are full health. Oh, this one's a little hungry. All right. This one's definitely hungry. Uh, I don't like that Jost is breaking a little bit. I wish these animations were a little bit faster, as cool as they are. Alright. Hacken, let's uh, rally Jost. Beautiful. They're there, all over us. <laughs> this is going to be something. Galdron? That might be a kill. Nope. Karstein. I'd rather let Kettleman have something to do, so let's not go after that one. 75% there. Ouch. Aid Blade. 81%. Yep, there goes one. Eagle, just hold your position. You're going to have a job to do really soon. Let's just... Break that one with Leonard. All right, Duke, how about a swing? Okay. I think that one, let's try and kill him. No, all right. Just shatter for sure. Oh, ouch. He doesn't even have anyone to follow up on with that berserk. Settlement. There we go. And Ike, let's go a split. Yeah, that one's already in big trouble. Thilman, I think a shatter with you is in order. Yep, that one's now nine lives. I don't think we've been hit yet. Now we have. Yeah, 
You want us to take some shots there? Wow, alright, they're hurting us. They're hurting us. Wow, Eagle is even getting hit. Look at that one, he's covered in blood. That is gnarly. Alright, Galdron. 55%. Nope. Karsten. There goes one. I think we're going to be okay, but yeah, some of us took some pretty nasty hits. Let's go after that one. Is everyone... Yeah, everyone's... We don't need to rally. Eagle. A little bit of damage. He's like melting. I love it. 63, 8 blade, puts him down. Leonard. Ike. Hey, we got the Necro Savant. That was, uh. Yeah, I'll take it. Kettleman, another one down. Duke. A bunch of skeletons go down. Yeah, oh. Okay, I guess we didn't kill that one. How about a shatter from Jaws? Yep. Yeah, we're pulverizing these things. And that's it with this turn. Poor Kettleman. Getting rocked. It's that duelist, you know? They, they're two-handing these things and they have duelist, I would think. Galdron. No! Galdron's not having the best of luck here. But Karsten... Yeah. Karsten's just... regulating. He's back. He's... Past couple of fights, Karsten's not been doing very well, but this one, he is just... going... going crazy. I don't want to break ranks with 8-Blade. We have these guys on the run. Yep. This is just about over. We'll see where this guy goes. And then... Just totally crowd him and kill him. Or Karsten just gets him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Karsten... Did some pretty good damage. Galdron gains a level anyway. Ornate Tomb, Ancient Gold Coins, some Shimmering and Ashes. All right. We need money. Why not? We need money. Okay, Galdron, what are we looking at for you? Come on. Oh, another plus one on that melee skill. Yeah, Galdron's going to have to be a swordsman. That's for sure. Let's go for that health. We're max rolling everything except for the melee skill. Fatigue, initiative. The fatigue is pretty awesome. I'm not too worried about the resolve because I'm guessing more often than not we're going to give him the um, immunity necklace so that he can do what he needs to do on his own. So let's get that fatigue instead. Every every max roll fatigue when you don't have stars in it is just... You need it. Well, we're at Nimble. We're at Nimble. The Lone Wolf, I was told that it stacks with dodge and they work off of each other. It could give him some pretty excellent defensive stats when he's on his own, especially with the way his melee defense is uh, working out. Just baseline. Yeah. 
sword mastery is... It's gonna have to happen. And, uh, and wouldn't you know it, we sold... We sold our noble sword. So we're gonna have to find another one. Footwork could be pretty good for Gaudron as well. In case he ever gets in trouble, he could just footwork and then run for the hills. I have no idea if this build's gonna work. I'm really worried about it, but it'll be fun, that's for sure. I guess we'll, well, we'll stick to the heavy armor because I'm not gonna take him off the pike until he's like at level 11 and perfectly suited for, for the role we're building him for. So let's just go with Okay, we have this perk. I think we have five more perks. So let's take footwork now. Just to get him out of trouble when we're fighting orcs. How come we have a slot open? Did we go in there? Yeah, I guess we went in with 11 instead of 12. That's funny. Okay, well, let's let's head south. We'll head we'll head through Tick Break over here. Sounds like a nice nice place. What's going on at the heap of bones? A plethora of ancient legionary. Oh wait, that's the priest in the woods thing. No, we're not doing that. Anything in Tick Break? Head into the hills. Ooh, okay. Many ambushers, a plethora of skirmishers, goblin overseer, and a few shamans. Maybe we'll do that. That could be a toughie, but I don't think it's anything we haven't done before. And these things are supposed to have, like, magic items in it pretty often. How is everyone doing here? Let's do an armor check. We're okay. We just gotta do some switcheroos on the armor. Thilman, let's just get another helmet on you. Yeah, that's not much of a downgrade. Kettlemond. That'll work. Everyone else, solid. Okay. Yep, I think uh, next episode, guys, we're gonna jump into Shanna Rax. It's probably gonna be a pretty tough fight, I think. It's gonna be pretty tough, but... But we're, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Next episode, big nasty fight. So we will see you in the next one.